All right, so we've got our little S hat. She's a little nervous. The weather's kind of nasty. Okay, quit. So, on the rope band here, the metal shank attaches. Relax. You're okay. The shank attaches here, curves down. This is where the head stall sits. Ooh. You're fine, I know. The curb chain goes from this little hook here underneath, and your reins attach to the bottom of the shank. Hey, quit. She also hasn't been messed with in a long time. When you pick up on the rein, the shank pulls the nose band down, see she's reacting to it, and picks the curb chain up. That's going to be the same on this side. Brings the nose band down and brings the curb chain up. And so whenever you ask, okay, if I were to ask her to tip her nose in, you just pick up. I hope that works for you. So you got to see it on a horse. See if we can get this better focused. Now I'm gonna look at it right here. I pick that nose band up. Okay. So from here you can see the rawhide nose band connects to the shank right here. It moves up and down. The curb chain comes on the bottom, and your reins hook to the end of the shank. When you pull this, it pulls down on the nose band, and it pulls the curb chain up into the jaw, acting like your average shank. So this is, in fact, a shank tackamore.